we talk about fractal strength and disperse. These options, you would have to identify a layer, right, um, to basically act as your map for dispersing particles or adding a, a fractal noise to run through them. But the controls for that disbursement or fractal strength are actually controlled in the subsections down here. So unlike displacement and color or displacement where you had a value that you can drag, these two sections we actually have to dig into the disperse and twist section to get control over that. And then we have to go and dig into the fractal field section. So let's actually uh, deal with disperse first because it's a pretty cool thing that we can work with. And I'm actually going to go back to my original Photoshop image and I'm going to duplicate it again. I'm going to call this duplicate disperse. I want to turn that disperse image on temporarily. And let's just use uh, After Effects' pen tool to basically draw close, not too close to the edges of this sculpture so that basically we have the dispersed particles in an area that we specify using a mask. I'll do that. And while this, you know, this edge dispersion can be probably done with a quick map, you can get a lot more accurate by using these masks, wouldn't you say, Chad? Like oh, the only yeah, problem with sure. a quick map is like, you're basing it on X and Y values, and then you're guessing exactly where you put that point in the quick map. But oh, here, yeah. you can't get like this custom shape. Yeah, I can make this look how long that took me to make that shape, right? It's like, no. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, it, uh, now we've defined an area, and it really doesn't matter, but I will invert that area just to specify this is where I want particles to be dispersed. And I'll even uh, come in here under the mask and add some feather by pressing the F key. Right, so that's now on that new uh, disperse layer. Cool. So this again, by the way, it's not looking at the color of this image. It's looking at it in black and white. So you might just want to make this uh, desaturated just so that you know uh, the values that it's currently looking at the object. But if, it, if it's the case that you want to make sure that each of those particles are treated equally in terms of uh, its dispersion, we could uh, add a fill to this and then just make sure the fill is close to a solid white color. And now you have, this is the map that it's essentially reading, that transition from black or the alpha in this case to gray to, to white. Okay, I'm gonna go into form, turn off this dispersion layer, hop back into the layer maps and under the disperse category. Chad, what should I do? Uh, well, you want to choose the map and then map over. Change the map over. Okay, See, I'm map learning. Over. This is good. This exercise is like boot camp. And uh, I'll, I'll make sure, maybe effects and masks? What do you think? Oh, yeah. And nothing happens again. So this could be a point of frustration, but that's because we haven't added any disperse value, right? So if you head into the disperse section and we start to increase it, you're going to be seeing a bit of dispersion specifically on that uh, section that I masked out. 